Alrighty, so this is the third one. Uh, right, yes. Third one. Um, I need a... Yeah, let's... Incas. Incas, right. Yes, I was looking at it and I forgot the name. Uh, I'm considering them a minor, just because, again, they don't have much real impact on the total entire atmosphere of the game. Uh, sure, they're one of the strongest powers, like, just, in my opinion, they're pretty fucking strong. And in, in this continent, it's them and Texas, they're the majors of this entire region. The colonies of Portugal and Spain can't fight them. Spain in general, I doubt, can fight them by itself. That's that's a Tunis colony. I forgot to look at that last time, so it appears Tunis are currently making a... Uh, fucking... What's it called? Uh, which one is it in? I always forget. Is it global? It's definitely global. Oh, that's Brazilian and Colombia. Right. That seems questionable. Maybe he can make it in if he gets one, two, three, four, five. Currently, it's just like a trade port. It's going to be like the Netherlands and stuff, French trade ports in 1936 and whatever, but Hamburg and Tunis. Anyway, the Incas. Incas, Incas, Incas. Uh, I think they recently just beat the shit out of the... 1621, 1621. I feel like they beat the shit out of these guys. Like, they definitely did in that war against uh, Spain earlier. But I thought they had, like, their own attack against them. I might be wrong. I swear they were bigger. Um, Maud Corp Oil. They need a takeout. Avocados from Mexico. I... This seems weird. I swear they took land from, like, these colonies. Uh, but yeah, they can, the avocados from Mexico, the, I don't want to call it that from anymore, Spanish Mexico is really insanely weak, sure they're tech 17 mil, they're tech 16, but 30k can just walk over it, it has around 16k by itself, uh, yeah, it's not a factor, Mordecop oil, uh, again, they're just so small, they won't have a giant army like other, like, even, even, like, a whole America might have 30k, because that's just colonial AI for some reason. So this one might have, like, 10 to 15 as well. This one, as you can see, has 6. Uh, Brazil, I think, has around 13 to 14. Don't quote me. Still, the Incas have, what, 60, 70, 80,000? I was just looking. 79,000, with a manpower pool of 55,000, which they need to work on a fair bit uh, by building these buildings, 2,500, another 1,000, another 1,000, they can get, what, six, 7,000 manpower right there just from spending around 900 ducats, I'd say that's worth. Gold, they're getting that money, they're finally getting an inflation, which I know a few people were salty that they weren't, <laughs> aka uh, Andalusia, um, <laughs> friendly salt. Uh, trade... It's beyond terrible because it's a basically a starter node with... I They should have good provinces. Yeah, they do have good stuff, so building manufacturers in here like they are right now will increase it. But it's just all mountains. So even deving this stuff, even deving these valuable ones like cloth and cocoa to get that value... Like, does that mean zero? Yeah, so y these yellows... That's all, like, co uh, cloth, that cocoa, more cloth. That's fish? Why is the fish getting it? Oh, because he has that goods produced. All right. So, yeah. If he ha builds these manufacturers all around, he'll be able to settle this income. Again, 90 income, pretty fucking good. 30 positive, not spending enough on advisors. Uh, like, bump them up. I'm not sure if, like... Yeah, no. Yeah, bump them up. Uh... He's Pirate Republic, which he really needs to reform out of, because, my god, it's terrible. Um, that's the thing, I haven't been looking at the reforms for other people. Shit. Uh, uh, <laughs> I'll do it at the end. Uh, naval Force Limit, yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just not worth it for, like, a completely colonial player. Like, New World player. 
Joe Power Broad, that's the smart one, I'm pretty sure, because these are the guys that give... No, the Buccaneers I, are the ones that I like more. Um, yeah, I like the Buccaneers more, because they get the um, plus one to power. Articles of the Agreement, they get that re yearly Republican tradition. I guess this is alright. It's really not needed, though. 30% trade power abroad. Another, what, 10% trade efficiency, 10% trade power. Just not especially as like this, these trade notes, it's just, no, it, it's not worth it. it, but it's not worth changing now anyway, um, and I'm not sure if he was able to pick it by him, like himself, uh, the consolidation of power, this is the correct one, longer terms, what the fuck, it's not like actually showing, that's weird. It should have a longer term, so it's just... Right, because it's Pirate King. Maximum absolutism. Yeah, it's definitely the right one then. Uh, yearly corruption would also be alright, because he's Pirate King. I don't know if it automatically switches, though. Um, trade power, again, not needed. This is the main one. This is beyond useless in most cases, because state maintenance is just not a factor people need to worry about. Uh, presidential system. It's alright for that 10%. Embracement cost, Parliament can't have it, uh, Pirate King is the best one, like, no matter what, War Against the World gives you a Imperialism CB, but only when Imperialism shows up, like, it gives that yearly separatism as well, and Buccaneer influence, but, yeah, <laughs> and it stops trade, uh, slaves, which are a really good trade good, because they increase goods produced, of the region, if I remember correctly, but yeah, harsh treatment cost, which is good, because it's absolutism now, you can spend those diplo points when you have it uh, more to get that bonus absolutism. Uh, naval leader fire, pretty good. Uh, that's just like a base thing. Again, captain's influence, kind of cancelling out this other one. And if you did go the captains, they have that 10% morale and navy is another len uh, naval leader fire. So it, it's alright. Um, what he should be doing, and I don't know if he has, is raiding these coasts, so, because he can do that, <laughs> like, that's a lot of money, I don't know if he's forgotten, or if he's just not doing it, I, I think he should be doing it, he seems like capable, like a knowledgeable player, he's at least done all of this, right, so, he expect it, well, <sighs> that sounds bad if he isn't doing it, like, yeah, just remember to do it, because right now it doesn't look like you've done it recently. Uh, <laughs> that was a black market consortium. Horrible one this year, Great Britain with Anglican. We're just going to get patched next patch. Uh, diplomats over stability cost modifier you need, because you're having that 200% currently, so if you ever really need to do stab, this is the one to do it. Diplomats are just worthless, um, like in a multiplayer game, in my opinion. Uh, possible... Yeah, the possible things we'll look at in a second. That's dependent on, like, what kind of ideas you're taking. Uh, morale of armies or manpower recovery speed. You don't have much manpower anyway. I'd just take the morale of armies just to have those more solid armies. So that way they take um, take longer to break, etc. Just become that huge... Not huge. Just become that power of the south. Even though that's what Texas is meant to be. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. I'm so easily amused. Advisor cost, uh, territories aren't a thing, they're not real, I swear. Yeah, you have more states, like, possible states than you'd ever need. Uh, because you're an empire, aren't you? Yes, you are. So yeah, uh, take that max promoted culture or advisor cost. But I don't think you need the culture unless you're going to be taking this land, which will be dependent on other stuff, because yeah, it's all like 1%. It's just not worth it. We've also still got two out of four. Like, maybe this, because it's all going to be Spanish. Yeah, Castilian uh, culture. All of it. So, like, maybe then, because this is, like, what, 50, 60 dev right here? That that might be useful, because, it, what, yeah, you're 538. But you still have those two out of four. So, yeah, in the end, before you do that final reform, I'd take the advisory cost and post possible thing. Uh, 
yeah so tech he's caught up he or she i don't actually know i assume he uh is caught up uh admin needs to get that really trade power it's it's not real it's not necessary so he doesn't need to get that this tech he can just wait until it's like tech 14 and then do it just spend those diplo points on literally anything else um yeah convert to christianity <laughs> no i mean you can right but then you lose out on that colonist whatever this is uh morale of armies core creation cost manpower recovery speed and if you do convert to christianity you then just immediately convert to Protest protestantism protestant i can speak uh institute this vision quest because it's already 200 percent. you might as well like honestly get that extra prestige um this i mean you have the money kinda just sit there drill up armies that's basically what you are doing right now yeah you don't need to do it but like it, i just do it because it's fucking instinctual uh you actually have that okay you have two missions wow <laughs> america so so crazy um uh now ideas expansion ideas that's needed they need that extra these extra colonists to just spam out colonies that's what i would be doing if i was you just bam 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 spam out extra colonies over your limit continue securing this land so that portugal brazil portuguese doesn't get it uh uh you're getting quality good uh naval you're still gonna have a slight naval game it's just with all the naval focus that spain portugal britain etc are doing you're not gonna be relevant you'll just be there you know um but yeah you'll get that quality defensive good combination that's another 10 percent discipline here you're gonna have you just a very solid army you will have a very solid army you've got great morale currently compared to the rest of the world um you'll have 102.5 percent discipline and then if you do like autonomy clicks and uh stuff you'll get the fucking absolutism which currently can't get because yeah you're in a spot where you could do the um court and country disaster once you reform uh yeah which i i would recommend trying to get then just doing all the events that give you that extra absolutism and eventually you can get that extra like 100 max absolutism which gives you all that um discipline admin efficiency etc because no one can really fuck with you the brazil portuguese like your only threat would be texas and as long as you like make a deal where you split like central america and he takes this you take that etc you'll be fine uh there's not really much i can say because you've done pretty well uh and i don't know south american games really uh again trade isn't really a thing estates on it there's not much i can talk about with you uh yeah so basically building manufactories which you're currently starting to do uh if we look here yeah there's two being built you know just build the rest on the cocoa i'd focus those the sugar um and the cloth gems even i don't know how much gems are worth honestly i think it's around three yeah three ducats and they're about to get oh they already have the um new world diamonds so yeah so yeah anyway uh build workshops all around which you haven't done yet just because it's money you, you need to spend the money somewhere i'd focus co um what are these called temples yeah okay i'll focus temples i would focus temples mainly just because you can you don't have any extra merchants uh main thing again manpower buildings force limit buildings these are the things that people everyone should be building except tunis and congo because they need to fix their economies and increase them but like once you get that 100 total income or that balance of like 20 to 30 even with a lower income these are the buildings you should be building just that way you have the men you know uh that you're not needed in this node unless spain starts trying to influence you but again 
all you need to do is take out this this colony, that colony, and you won't need to build any um, any trade posts because you will have it's not a contested node. It's just not. It's also a very poor node, so there's no point like spending four hundred ducats to secure like zero point zero five or another point eleven, which altogether would be what point three ducats. Uh, states, yeah, just state that, etc. Courthouse again, not really worth it. Let's look at your. Uh, that's your tech. Never mind. Uh, right. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Uh, institution spread. I assume because. Yep. That's smart. Uh. Why did I click that? So global trade. Honestly, you could afford to just put it everywhere, mainly in these like sixty-one percent province kind of things. Main. Yeah, I'd put um I'd put it in the provinces with the uh, centers of trade because they get that extra from the institution that well they they have printing press and trade because it's a center of trade at least level two point eight when it's level three oh but it doesn't have one when it's level three apparently but yeah trade power influences the global trade so you know just chuck it around etc chuck it on the centers of trade. Nowhere else really. Um, I wonder what this is. Development cost. I assume there's gold in here. There is. This one up here. Why have you put it here? Holy shit. <laughs> 59 dev. Um, why? <laughs> just, just why? It's fish. It's fucking fish. Uh, how much is that? 35% compared to nothing. It's just, it's just horrible terrain all throughout, isn't it? I'd say this... No, that's two ducats. That's two ducats. That's two ducats. If you can get here, if you can get this province, that'd be a new one to just dev the shit out of. Because, um, 5.4. Jesus Christ, it's, it's expensive. Oh my god. Get that cocoa. Dev cocoa. That'd be your main thing to dev from now on. Gold and cocoa. As I've said previously. Anyway, not much I can really say for you because you've done everything you can. You don't have estates, so I can't really say which land should be where. Uh, Gucci gang. Haha. -ha. Big funny. Probably doing Texas next. Ooey.